Welcome to Crayola Creative Workshop. I'm Allison. And I'm Rihanna. This fall, welcome your trick-or-treaters and Halloween party guests with Crayola Sidewalk Crayon Designs. We've got misty ghosts and creepy spiders and big monster footprints leading the way up the sidewalk here. And we're going to show you how you can design each one very easily using your favorite sidewalk crayon colors. So first, let's start with the monster footprint. We took some cardboard, a piece of old cardboard, and we just cut out what we thought was kind of a funny three-toed monster yeah. footprint design. And Liana's going to show you how we did it. So take it on over. How about right there between those other two? Okay. So you lay out your piece of cardboard on the sidewalk or the path or the driveway, wherever you're going to be drawing it, and you trace around it. Go ahead, Liana. Just trace real carefully and be sure to press nice and hard so you get a nice bright line around the outside edges of your of your footprint. There you go. And when we did our footprints on our path, we kind of made them look like there was a left foot and then a little farther up there was a right foot and then a little farther up a left foot. So it really looked like a monster came walking to our door. And we're pretty sure the little kids are going to be like, is there a monster here? Right? And then to color it in, we decided that a fun way to do it would be to hold two crowns at the same time. Go ahead, Liana. Both sidewall crowns in one hand and just color around and around and around. That way it's got more than just one color and it looks kind of like this monster has like fiery feet or something or maybe really hairy monster fur feet. There you go. Cool. Cool. So next we're going to show you how we made our silly spiders. And to make our silly spiders perfectly round in the middle, we found an old lid that we had just kind of laying around. You could also use a plastic bowl or something else that's really round and you just trace around it. Go ahead. And after you trace around it, how many legs? Eight. Eight. We're going to do eight legs all the way around it. And one easy way to make sure that you can fit all the legs around it is to just draw kind of bent legs. There's three, four, five, six, six seven, seven eight. eight. And the way we designed them is we kind of drew these little bumpy marks all over them. And this works great if you and your friend or a brother or sister can do it with you because you can actually have the two colors going at one time and get it done so much faster. So you color all the legs. Good, Liana. You're working as a team. Yep. And you can make lots of spiders all over the path, right? Going yeah. all up and down the sides. And then, of course, you want to make your monster face. Now, Liana, do you know that spiders have more than one eye, more than two eyes? Really? Yeah, they actually have multiple eyes. Cool. So you can put a whole bunch of eyeballs all over your spider. All two. When I saw a picture in a book one time, it was like two big ones and a bunch of small ones were on the spider's face. But you can do any kind of spider you want. You can even have a smiley face and fangs and all kinds of stuff. So that's basically how we made our spiders. And next comes the misty ghosts. And it, all we had to do to make a misty ghost was use a nice light color of chalk. You can take that out to the middle of the path. And just an old cloth. Any kind of old cloth will do if, if your parents have some that they use to clean with. They don't mind you using to make a ghost. That would be great. Now, a ghost body, when you're drawing a ghost body, you don't even have to know how to do a ghost body. Just make some kind of a big blobby shape. You can color it all in. Not real dark, just kind of scribble all over the inside like Liana's doing. Very good. And even little brothers and sisters can help with this part because they're good at just kind of scribbling all around. And then comes the next part where you try to make it look like it's a misty ghost, like it doesn't even have anything to it. And Liana's going to take the rag and just rub over it. You can rub all over it. Now, if you start to notice that it's not as dark as you want it to be, just take your crayon again and rub over it again. And then you can go over it a second time with the cloth. Now, you don't have to use a whole lot of pressure. Just gentle rubbing will make your ghost look very, very misty. And then, of course, your ghost needs to have one of those spooky faces with the two big round eyes and maybe a mouth that's going, ooh. You want to draw that in, Liana? Sure. There you go. And that's a ghost. It's very easy. You can experiment with different kinds of ghosts reaching out across the path all up and down. And everyone will have to kind of hop along when they come to your house for trick or treat or for a party. OK, so I'm going to go over there and I'm going to make another dancing pumpkin. What are you going to make? I'm going to make a sign that says, turn back now. That's a great idea. To make your creepy trick or treat path, you'll need Crayola sidewalk crayons, a plastic bowl or lid to trace for spiders, a cloth to make misty ghosts, and some poster board or cardboard to design your monster footprint.